Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, April the 6th, which is crazy. I still can't believe it's April. <laughs> uh, anyways, today is also National Tomato Day. Fresh Tomato Day. This isn't fresh because it's made out of yarn. But it's technically fresh because I just made it last night. <laughs> so I made this tomato. Isn't that cute? I didn't use a pattern for this. I just made a red ball and put a green stemmy thing on top. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's my cute little tomato. I used Red Heart Super Saver um, Cherry Red. And I think this is called Tea Leaf. I'm not exactly sure. It's these scrap balls. I just know this color because I use it a lot. But I think this is Tea Leaf or Lot Sage or Lot Tea Leaf or something like that. <laughs> But yeah, look at it. It's so cute. There are tons of tomato patterns out there if you wanted to look them up. Uh, they're all over Ravelry and, um, you know, you can Google it or Pinterest it. And I think, um, I have a couple of Amigurumi books that have tomatoes in them. So it's kind of weird shaped. But I guess tomatoes aren't perfect. So there's my tomato. I'll probably just give this to Jesse and let him play with it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, happy National Fresh Tomato Day. <laughs> it's kind of funny that it's this early in the year because, um, tomatoes aren't really fresh right now unless they're from like a greenhouse or imported of course but um locally you know no one's growing tomato plants yet they're just little seedlings probably right now anyways yeah there's that <laughs> i wanted to also share with you guys today i got a little bit of happy mail and i got some bags uh, that i finished this morning that i just wanted to share with you because i think they're pretty cool and uh yeah they won't be in the shop until next week sometime but i just wanted to share them with you because they're really cool looking <laughs> i think i did pretty cool uh Good job making them. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to do the happy mail real quick. So I got this postcard from Erica. It's just a little postcard note. Um, I, don't, I was trying to see if it had anything. I think it's called Here and Bull is what this is called or something. Really cute um, stamp. Got a barn on it. So thank you, Erica, for that. I think this one is Tracy. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. I'm really bad at reading cursive. <laughs> I was kind of brought up right when cursive writing was not being used that much. I know now they hardly even teach it in schools anymore. Um, I can read and write cursive, but not well. <laughs> but anyways, this is a really cool looking card. It's kind of got glitter on it. Can you see it? But I really like this card. It's really pretty. And she wrote a nice note in there. She also included this little quote card on this side. It says, Don't be afraid to be amazing by Andy Offit or Irwin. And then the other side says, always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. E.B. What? Thank you so much for that. And it came in a cool green envelope. And then the last happy mail that I got. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to get these to not fall everywhere. Jesse really wanted these uh, stitch markers. <laughs> but it came from Shondale. And she has a YouTube channel called Classy Handmade. I remember where she's from. Arizona. Yeah. Arizona. So I got a little package from her and it came in this cute envelope. I ripped it. <laughs> and the little sticker says Express Mail. But the envelope was in a padded envelope. <laughs> but uh, she sent me this really cute card. It says, Thanks, Ella. And it's got this really cute little drawing on it that she drew <laughs> and then on the inside she's got a note thanking me for supporting her channel and she's got these stitch markers these are really cool stitch markers they are made i'm trying to untie them they're made from paper beads that she made hold on a second give me a second i left them on here so that i wouldn't forget to share them <laughs> jesse really wanted these and i was like oh uh -uh, those are mama's <laughs> okay let me get this card Here's this one. So these middle beads are paper beads, which is like rolled up paper. And there's cute little uh, beads, a little butterfly and a little green thing. <laughs> and then there's this one. It's like pink and yellow colors. Getting all kinds of notifications on my phone. Hope it's not making noises. And then there's this one. It's got a key on it, which I really like keys because uh, they've always been like a lucky symbol to me and then this blue one with like a tassel really pretty stitch markers thank you so much for that she also included some of these fingernail um they're like color street uh fingernail sticker 
things. <laughs> I don't know their proper name. So uh, I'm going to be using these now that I've showed them. They're so cool again. Yeah, so that is so cool. Thank you so much for sending me this. Ah. So I got to put my stitch markers on my stitch marker hanger, which fell off the wall. <laughs> I can't remember if I told you guys about that or not, but one day I was sitting in the living room and something happened. I don't know if we had a little tiny earthquake <laughs> or if my neighbor did something, but uh, the wall that I was sitting against in a chair uh, had a whole like a collage of picture frames. And that day, like three or four of those just all fell off the wall at the same time. And one of our canvases halfway fell off. Like it fell and got stuck on a picture frame. And one of the picture frames got broken. <clears throat> And for whatever reason, they, they all fell like at the same time. It was scary. It scared me just both. I was sitting right under it and luckily I didn't hear anything. And then later that day, I went into the, my uh, area where my yarn is and my stitch marker thing had fallen off the wall also. So uh, something happened that shook the house enough to knock stuff off the walls, but not enough for me and Jesse to notice it unless we just weren't paying any attention at all. But I still haven't put it up because they were all hanging up with those um, command strip hooks thingies. And I don't have any more of the big ones. I have to buy some to rehang all those up with. So I'm going to put these on my stitch marker holder. <laughs> and um, I got to hang that back on the wall. Anyways, that's the happy mile that I got. Uh, I believe I got most of that last week. But the bags. I want to show you the bags. I saw there's a few just regular drawstring bags. Uh, you know, like the solid pieces of fabric. <clears throat> there's this one. It's like school print. I thought this was so cute. And they're the, the bigger bags. There's that one. And there's just one that's like uh, squiggly lines. There's a thread on there. <laughs> Everything here is covered in threads. And there's just really uh, vintage y looking like seed packets. Like that. This one I made for Jesse. Uh, we were gifted this fabric to make something for Jesse with, so I made him a drawstring bag to put toys in. So, Thomas Train. <laughs> so, that's for Jesse. Let me put that over there. And then these next bags are pieced together um, fat quarters that I had a whole bunch of. Uh, I didn't have enough of the same fat quarter to make a solid bag like these ones. So I cut them and pieced them together uh, different ways <laughs> to make a whole bag. I think they're pretty cool. I think they, because they they look unique. So there's some Harry Potter ones, uh, a Star Wars one, and some Star Trek ones. So here's a Harry Potter one. So the top part of the bag has the my, three main characters and the Deathly Hallows symbol on the bottom and then the other side is the reverse <laughs> and then also up here they're reversed so I think that's cool they're like two-toned bags and this next one is the Marauders map and then just Harry Potter and then opposite on the other side <laughs> and this one has got uh, the three main people and just like the school crest reversed on the other side I think these all came out really good this Star Wars one has three different prints on it so up at the top it's got stormtroopers and all you know a bunch of the different ships and then Star Wars and then on the other side the ship print is up here stormtroopers and then Star Wars so I think it's cool how it's like uh, patchwork kind of <laughs> and then these next three are Star Trek ones so Got two different Star Trek prints reversed. This blue one. It's got the blue Star Trek images. <laughs> I think these are really cool. I like this yellow one just because I like the yellow scheme. <laughs> so yeah, so these are all bags. They will be in the shop sometime next week. Please do not <laughs> message me asking for these bags or asking me to hold these bags because I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I've been ignoring um, messages like that because I've said it so many times uh, already that I'm not doing that anymore <laughs> and that I'm not custom making bags. So um, I've just started ignoring those messages. But anyways, uh, they will be in the shop. I'm thinking next Monday, but I'm not 100% sure because it depends on the tote bags. I got a whole bunch of tote bags cut and I'm going to start sewing on them tomorrow. So hopefully these will be in the shop. I'm hoping next Monday, but we'll see for sure. And uh, my interfacing finally got delivered. So uh, the next shop update after this one will have zipper notion pouches in it. I already have 30 of those cut out, but I was waiting for the interfacing to get here. Uh, I ordered a whole bolt of it so I can cut it and iron it onto the fabric and then I can sew those bags. So yeah, those will be coming up. <laughs> but yeah, um, I really like these 
two-tone bags. Did really good on the seams, I think. <laughs> they meet up pretty well. And yeah, they just have solid color uh, liners. I didn't do anything fancy with the liners this time. The totes, some of the tote bags will have printed liners because I was just working with what I had on hand. But uh, there's a lot of cute tote prints. I'm not going to show you because they're stacked up in an order <laughs> so I don't lose pieces to certain totes. But um, they'll have pockets and the long handles and they'll be quilted. And uh, there's going to be one little tote just because I had enough of one fabric print to make a smaller tote. So I believe there's 16 totes, one little tote, and 10 drawstring bags. It's going to be in the shop. Hopefully Monday. I don't know what Monday's date is. Uh, 10, 11, 12, the 13th maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever next Monday is. But yeah, so that's my tomato, <laughs> my bags, and my Happy Mail. So thank you all so much for uh, watching and commenting all the time. I love reading y'all's comments. I know sometimes it takes me a while to get back to them, but it's just because I get busy. And um, I do try to, I read every comment and I reply to the ones that I can. And I heart all the ones that I read so that you know that I read them. <laughs> but um, I appreciate y'all's support over the last four years. I think it'll be four years in June. Yeah, because I started it in June 2017. And so June this year is right around Father's Day. I can't remember. I have to go back and look. Me and Terry at Yarn Joy Podcast put out our first video like within a week of each other, I believe. Um, and we started our channels the same way uh, by replying to a giveaway that Margaret Olander was having. We had to make a video submission. So, yeah. But anyways, <laughs> I'm going to hop off here because I'm chatting now. I got to do some cleaning stuff here and get ready to start sewing for tomorrow. I, mean, I like laying my stuff out the day before so that I can, when I wake up, I can just go ahead and get into work. That's what I do this morning. I made all these drawstring bags this morning so that I wouldn't have to worry about them the rest of the day. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video uh, coming out soon. Also, don't forget that I am doing VEDA over on my second channel, the Life channel. If you want to check that out, uh, do that. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.